Okay, so we're here at the grand opening of the Latino Collection and Resource Center at the Central Library. And I'm here with Marisa Bono, who is the Chief of Policy for um, Mayor Ron Nuremberg right now. And before that, she was with the Southwest Regional Council for MALDEF, which is Mexican American Legal Defense and Education Fund, where she did some terrific work. But before that, she was in school in San Antonio, and there was a reference made tonight to um, the push by Rosie Castro, the woman who is uh, the, the mother of our, our former mayor and of our congressman, um, and Bryce Milligan, and the push from, by those people to say, hey, we need more resources in this, in this building. Um, and Rosie brought a bunch of school kids. That's right. Here, high schoolers. High schoolers. That's right. You were in high school. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tell me what happened. Well, we, we were a group of high schoolers that had just come back from a program that was sponsored by the National Hispanic Institute (NHI), and the organization really, uh, really pressed us to think about where we were represented in the city. So, for example, we were Latinos were underrepresented in government um, and underrepresented in a, in a lot of other parts of public life. And so when Rosie approached us with this issue, it really fit in line with issues that we wanted to work on and improve in the community. Separate from that, many of us had experienced our own hardships trying to find places to research uh, for uh, our courses in high school and also to research more about ourselves, our families, uh, and, and to find works from authors who we felt represented our community. So it fit very much in line with the work that we wanted to do in the community. So you guys came and uh, Rosie brought you all to a, a board meeting at the San Antonio Public Library Board. And, That's right. And, and what happened? Uh, it was a it was a small board meeting here at the library and we basically uh, made speeches to the board and explained to them why we felt this collection was important not only for young people but for the community as a whole to make sure that um, Latino literature was properly highlighted in a city like San Antonio that was already a majority Latino. So now today we, we see young people trying all the time to come out and raise their voices and say something needs to change. Um, what happened after you did that? Well, we got our collection, but it was very small, and it was out of the way, and it really wasn't what we had envisioned in terms of a good representation for our community. Um, but as we can see by uh, the opening today, advocates, other local advocates, really picked up the ball and pushed hard for the funding, um, and also for the support um, under the, the vision of Ramiro Salazar, uh, to make the collection uh, more reflective of the vibrancy of our community. And front and center at the library. Absolutely. Uh, it, there's no I'm missing it now. Uh, there's no, it's not off in the corner now. It's really um, featured and with, uh, with the span of 10,000 books and, and works, it really is sort of what we envisioned um, when we first came to, to fight for this at the library. Yes. Absolutely. So, so the the message, at least from me to young people, is get out there and fight for it, and you can make a difference. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, there's nothing too small, and I like to say that everyone has a gift that they can contribute. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you for giving us yours. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we are here again, now Cast SA, with the grand opening of the Latino Collection and Resource Center at Central Library in San Antonio, which is a really, really festive event and a, and a really great achievement for a lot of people who have waited for this for a long, long time. Um, we just spoke with Marisa Bono, who was, who was one of the, the um, students who argued for a Latino collection a long time ago, and Ellen Riojas Clark, a, a professor emeritus at UTSA, was one of the people on the board of the Senate of the library at the time, yes. listening to what those young people had to say. Tell us what that was like. Well, it was not only listening to what he said, but manipulating what happened. So I, I really appreciate the fact that you're doing institutional history because it's very, very important. At that time when I was in the board, I knew that the votes were against us. So what I did is called Rosie Castro and other people in the community, and I said, I need ammunition. I need people to come in and speak to the need for iLibrary to represent our city. So I said, I don't want just Edgewood. We got Edgewood. We got students from all different schools. But I wanted also kids who were from an upper middle class school to come in, and we got Marisa Bono. And so she brought in her young group, 
So I, of course, knowing what we were doing, had them speak, and if and they were the turning point, because I don't think that our board of trustees listened to people of color, nor did they listen to people from different socioeconomic groups, but they listened to somebody who they thought looked like them and represented them. So for that, I'm always grateful to Marisa. That was her first political activism uh, thing. So instrumental in what we did to make sure that the library had a representation. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, the, and the impact of that was? The impact of that is that we finally had a Latino Resource Center that I, I, and I will take credit for putting together the Latino leadership for the library, Elder III, to make sure that we could do this. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's terrific. And, and, the, and the message to young people and to people who are on boards and commissions as you were? I think the message is you've got to participate. You have to be an activist. You can be a change agent. And a change agents are necessary for our community in order to achieve what we need to achieve. Ellen Riojas-Clark, thank, thank you so you're very welcome. much. You're quite welcome. Thank Abrazo. you. Abrazo. 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 Abrazo.